Hey guys, it's this Steve, and this is Guardians of the Galaxy and X Men The Black Vortex Alpha issue number one. It's been really a big anticipated issue, and hope you guys will enjoy this one. Let's go with the review what I got in my hand the IGN review, and it got a really, really okay kind of rating that is 6.5 out of 10. But they are saying by J.C. Seaton, Black Vortex marks the second crossover between the X-Men and the Guardians of the Galaxy franchises in as many years. But if the trial of Jean Grey proved anything last year, is that these teams have a lot of potential for fun. Wacky adventures when paired together, the opening chapter of Black Vortex taps into that finally somewhat, but it doesn't have a lot to offer readers. Beyond that element, this issue does little to justify the need for such a lengthy crossover. It's unfortunate that so much attention is devoted to rehashing recent GOTG that is Guardians of the Galaxy Star Lord and X-Men continuity that tends to impede the flow of the story in early pages. No sooner does Sam Humphreys introduce the idea of the Black Vortex than he jumps forward a few billion years to touch base with Star Lord and Showcat and begin the process of bringing the teams together. There's never a point where the Black Vortex or the alien creatures connected to it develop into a credible of our compelling thread. The scenes of Peter and Kitty's skulking about or the guardians playing D and D or the two teams having their big reunion or break. The final cliffhanger in particular suffers from a lack of context or build up, but most of the time I really enjoy this one. Hope you guys will enjoy this too, and you must enjoy this too because it's quite a different and quite natural. This issue does benefit from having Ed McGuinness on board and doing his own spin off bombastic artwork, and those things were really cool, and that is. That is the thing that main make this make this show more fun and makes sometimes it's quite a really cool thing. So Jack Kirby style cosmic Marvel is always great for conveying cosmic spectacle, but better at capturing the dynamic character interactions. Unfortunately, McGinnis doesn't tackle the entire issue. Chris Anka's pages are more subdued but still clean and attractive. The problem comes with the constant switching back and forth between pencilers. This is the first chapter in a much larger crossover that means there's ample time for improvement but readers really need to be given incentive now to keep sticking around. But we have to move with GeekedOutNation.com. This review by GDOAB Adunze, The Trial of Jinger was the first time the Guardians of the Galaxy and the X-Men crossed over, a big success considering how many characters were thrown into that story, though with that we all anticipated the next time they crossed paths and the Black Vortex is the next big thing that could bring them together once again. The only question is how you can top a story that revealed a brand new power of Jean Grey while bringing a character like Gladiator to his knees, Sam and Freeze. Wasted no time jumping into the thick of it with the Black Vortex she won't. We know that what thread this ancient artifact possesses. We know who's after it, we know what it can do, and the situation only escalates from there. Pretty much everything goes to hell first, and that is the urgency needed. When you expect this to be one of those fast paced stories, not one where there is too much talking, and not one that gets too caught up in holding your hand, is too much talking, and not one that. Anyway, so with that said, there is a solid balance struck in the tone of the crossover, and that's the thing sometimes we don't get boring not one here there is too much talking but you have the humor from the guardians mixed with the more serious nature from the x-men that you would get from the inclusion of the characters like beast and star which is a good change when you want to see how many some of the other X-Men interact with the Guardians rather than just the original five. The only problem found in this first issue is the lack of understanding as to what is going on with the race who first found the Black Vortex. We have a better understanding of it and what it does from others use of it than that alien we first see unless there is something more to the down the road but some that you feel as though that whole part could be cut out and you will still have a good grasp 
As to the concept of the story, the artwork for this issue is fairly solid, nothing too spectacular though good enough for such an event. The problem that this story could easily face is just having too much going on at the same time. The fight that, the fight that breaks loose was a bit hard to follow but sometimes it's quite different. So the problem that this story could easily face this thing so though we will see how things shape up aside from this it it is awesome it's to see changes and that that black vortex makes to who's who give themselves to it the cosmic look is unique to the person and makes them look powerful the black vortex itself has its own creative design to and that is appealing when you have that every changing space rendering on the in the opening the black vortex one had an explosive star and set the tone for whatever there is to come after that ending which was delivered a bit shaky in some areas though gets better by the end of this issue clearly things will only get worse before they get over then get better and some characters seem like they will be changed either for better or worse either way if we were looking for some action guardians x-men team up then this is the story for you to pick up so hope you guys have enjoyed this one just go to the store and buy this book and enjoy it anywhere it's really enjoying and both 2.9 and